Got old slides and negatives? This can scan them into JPEGs. Let's have a look. Dave Taylor here, and you know, I have a ton of old slides from our family. They are, some of them are nice and big, 35 millimeter slides, and some of them are smaller slides going back even further. Kodachrome, Ektachrome, this is like a trip down memory lane, except, what do I do with them? So, the answer is, Kodak has a really nifty new device called the Scanza, and that's what this guy is. And you can see it's about five inches around or so, maybe about five inches tall, weighs a couple of pounds, but it's a full scanner and it can work with film negatives, camera negatives, 110, 126, 35 millimeter slides, Super 8 film, 8 millimeter film negatives, black and white, color negatives, whatever it is you throw at it, this thing can handle it. So, let's jump right in. I have a couple of slides in one of its slide carriers, and it is pretty easy to work with. You take the slide out, and it's a bit of a snug fit, and then you just push the next one in, and that advances it along, and then we will turn on the device, and as you can see, the slide carrier, it actually has a little stop on it, so you know exactly where to go. And on the screen, there are three buttons that correspond to the three choices on the screen. I'll give you a close-up, you'll see what I mean. So I choose Capture, and there it is. That's the scan of the slide. Now let me zoom in so you can see what that looks like on the screen. Now on the front, you have three options. Power, going to the camera, or home. And then here you have the three buttons for controls. Now the camera button is scan to SD card. I already have an SD card in the back, so I push the button. And scanning, done. That's it. Now, let's have a look and see what that scan looked like. You can see, it's pretty good. Now, here's what's interesting, is that you can adjust a lot of things in the scanner, including brightness. So when I had the default brightness, you can see in this image that it's too much. There's too much brightness going on there. So being able to adjust it is great. And then of course you can bring it into a photo editor and you can work on it further. This is how I got this image, and it actually looks really good for something from <coughs> cough years ago. <laughs> many years ago, and yes, that's both of them, that's me. So, really, really like this. It's not super fast. If you have hundreds and hundreds of slides or dozens of rolls of film negatives that you wanna scan, it's a fairly tedious process, but the trade-off is that number one, the automated systems I've seen don't tend to work very well, they jam. And if you wanna send it to a service, you can. That can be anywhere from 20 to $40 per roll of film. So even this stack of slides that I have here, this could be a really nice dinner out just to scan this many slides and get you know really super professional results. So I like being able to do it myself. I'm a sort of DIY person anyway, so I really like this device and I like all of its features. Now, let me tell you about it. So this is a three and a half inch color screen obviously and the camera inside that actually is doing the scanning is a 14 slash 22 megapixel scanner. So you can change resolutions I'm not sure when you'd use the lower resolution, but you can. 22 megapixels is obviously a good scanner and it gives you a good results. They're not crystal clear. It's still a tough process to take something that's this small and actually get a, you know, something that's gonna look great on your TV. But speaking of which, it actually has TV out and the cables to include it. So there's two ways you can do it. If you have an old school TV, there is a plug that you can literally plug into this device and then plug into your TV. But if you're slightly more modern, there's also HDMI and Kodak includes the HDMI cable. Super nice. I really like when they include all these different cables. It charges and works via micro USB. There's no battery, so it's not actually charging. So let's just say it works via micro USB. And all of that comes with it too, so you can plug it straight in. And let's see, what else can I tell you? It has a lot of different carriers for different kinds of things. So these are different kinds of negatives. And then for film, 
different kinds of film even like this you can squeeze in that's a pretty small space there for whatever the actual image is I think that's just an eight millimeter that's going to give you pretty okay results at best because there's just not much data there and if it's something from 30 40 50 70 years ago did they have eight millimeter 70 years ago however long ago then obviously film ages and colors go and I know that from these scans that I've done the colors are really washed out but these can be images from 40 or 50 or 60 years ago so that's a long time to be color stable not much else to tell you about this I will say that some people complain that these slide carriers are a little bit fussy to work with and I completely agree it takes a little bit of patience to do this this is not something where you're gonna say oh you have 200 slides I'll be done by the end of lunch it's not really like that but the end result is really great and I love being able to get all these old slides that I thought we'd never see the light of day again that I can now scan it saves to JPEG it goes on to the SD card that I put in the back you will need to bring your own SD card but they're super cheap and then you just scan everything it goes straight onto the card and then you plug it into whatever you want so super easy you could even take this to most of photo places and then print directly from the SD SD card so that's really pretty nice now let me give you a little bit more of a tour here because the front slot is where you put film the side is for these carriers obviously and then on the back there's a bunch of different plugs so you have the TV out for the old school um, TV connection and then the SD card slot and then the micro USB connection for power and then the HDMI plug so all pretty straightforward to work with and I gotta say if you have shoe boxes full of old photos or slides or something this is gonna let you take all that stuff and actually turn it into fun usable and shareable images and that's really cool now before I tell you the price let me ask if you can click on that subscribe button really appreciate if you could subscribe great now all that's left to talk about with the Kodak scans of film and slide scanner is the price and it's only $169.99 at Amazon.com which I think is a pretty darn good price for this with the adjustable screen and the 22 megapixel scan and support for so many different film and slide formats it is not lightning fast but you know what I really had a lot of fun working with it and I will tell you that you should probably check it out too so Steve Taylor I do in fact have a stack of slides to look at so I'll catch you in my next video